let's add a digital signature to our Excel workbook. And we can do that by going to File after opening up your workbook, going to Info, and go to where it says Protect Workbook. Hit the drop down, and now I'm going to choose Add a Digital Signature. Now before it'll let me do this, it's going to say, hey, you've got to save this as a specific format. You want to do that, you can say yes, and, and then you'll get this new box. We'll hit the drop down and we have different commitment types. We have none, created and approved, approved this document or created this document. So let's just say all I want to do is say I, I created this document. I just want to approve that. So purpose for signing the document, proof of creation. And when, do we want to include information about the signer? Click the details button. And here we can put in the signer's information. And I went ahead and filled in some fake information about the location and the name. And there we go. Now I'm going to click uh, Change under Signing As. So if I want to choose someone else, I, I can go ahead and create a new certificate for that. But it went ahead and created a certificate for me already, which is great. So if I click on More Choices, we can see all the different certificates that were made for various different organizations. But I want to choose me. So I'll click OK. The certificate selected cannot be verified. Check your network connection. Do you want to use this anyway? Yes, I want to use it anyway. Now I'm going to click Sign. And it says it was successfully saved with this document. If the document is changed, your signature will become invalid. So this proves that I've gone ahead and signed this document because I'm logged in as me at the top, and it created a signature with my name on it. So that way it can be proof that it's me. Now if I go in and I click Edit, it's going to invalidate my signature. It's just going to remove it from the document because it's no longer proof that I did anything with it unless I go back and run the digital signature again. So I'm just going to choose to close out of this. And now I'm going to open it back up and we'll see what changes happened. And take a look. It says marked as final. So if I want to edit it, I can. And signatures, my signature shows that I'm the one who created it. So I'll click on view signature. And there it is. I can click on the details. It gives the information that I had put in earlier. So that's how you do a digital signature and verify it using Microsoft Excel.